Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be continuing the scouts pouch series with what is possibly my favourite scout secondary weapon in the whole game, the Mad Milk. So the Mad Milk is a secondary weapon for the scout as I just mentioned and it is a glass bottle full of milk that literally nobody has the answer to, as to where it comes from. Scout just kind of whips it out occasionally and recharges it without doing anything special. I'm sure you've seen some of the theories as to what the milk actually is. Even the TF2 wiki says milk in air quotes. So that suggests it might be something else, which is a bit, bit weird. I would say maybe that's a topic for another video, but I don't even know if I want to find out or even do anything towards figuring out what it is. But anyway, you can receive the milk in unique quality, strange and collector's quality as always. Unique is just drops from crafts which is pretty simple. Strangers can be unboxed from Crate 31. And then for the collectors, you have to fill in a chemistry set, which is effort. And the chemistry set is probably very expensive. But instead of going through all of that effort to get the crates and to get the chemistry sets or whatever, you could just use TF2.trading, which is my sponsored referral link for STN trading. If you want to make any trade ever, not even just for the mad milk I've talked about, but literally any trade you want to make, TF2.trading is the site you want to go to. Their bots are super quick, they work really well, and it's just a really good site. So definitely go and use it. Now, let's talk about the stats of the weapon. The Mad Milk is a throwable weapon, just like the Jurati, which I hope one day I'll make a video on. The sniper version of this series will almost pretty much never come out. I've got all the other classes to do beforehand. Nice. But basically what I meant to say with that is the man milk could be thrown and it covers the enemy in milk. When an enemy is covered in milk, 60% of the damage you do to them will be returned to you as health. You can tell an enemy is covered in milk because they'll have little milk droplets coming off them, which is super weird, but it makes it easy to find spies and it's an easy indicator as to whether your milk hit or not. It turns out the effects of man milk will only stop being active if the person dies, visits a resupply locker, jumps into water or is being healed for a long amount of time. Apparently it doesn't just wear off like I thought it did, which is kind of weird. The Mad Milk takes 20 seconds to recharge, which isn't awful. You could push the cart a fair way in that time or go and do something else. But if you use the Mad Milk to extinguish teammates, because you can do that, it refills the bar 20%, so you're only actually waiting 16 seconds, which is even better. Now, I didn't know this next thing, which is why it is super cool making these videos because I learn new things pretty much all the time as well. But the Mad Milk can be reflected. And when it is, the enemies can use all of the benefits you have when you use it against you, such as gaining health by damaging you or even extinguishing their own teammates with the milk you threw at them. So your pyro is going to be very angry at you if that's the case. So now we've talked about how to get the weapon. We've talked about the stats. And now let's talk about how to actually use it. From my personal experience, I've always found it is so much easier to use this weapon just as you're about to go into a fight. If you know you're about to engage a bunch of enemies, throw this into a group of them just before you start firing so that any damage you take after that, you can hopefully regen by hitting your shots. Throwing it early also means it's out of the way, so you're not thinking about it during mid-fight, you're not getting distracted about when the best time is to use it, you just get to do the fight and you get to focus all of your energy on hitting your shots, not when you're going to pull out a glass of milk and throw it at someone. I mean, depending on how big the fight is, you might just be able to throw it again, so at the same time, it doesn't really matter that much. Another good time to use it is that if you see an enemy pyro set all of your friends on fire, you make them all huddle up and you throw milk at them and you extinguish all of them and it's very cool. Your team will thank you. I mean, they probably won't, but you'll stop them all being angrier, I guess. I absolutely love partnering this weapon up with the Scattergun. Six shots to deal a lot of damage, and you get health back on every single one of those if you hit them. It's ridiculously good. The Scattergun is my favorite gun probably in the whole game. Mixed with the Mad Milk, it's just incredible. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other ways you can use the Mad Milk. You can pull it out mid-fight if you've started to lose and you haven't thrown it already. That would work as well. I just get distracted because I'm an idiot. So I need to throw it before that so I'm not thinking about it while I'm trying to aim. But you could do it if you're good at, you know, thinking. Okay, so my personal experience of the Mad Milk, like I've already probably iterated in this video already, is that it is probably my favourite secondary weapon pretty much ever. I'm an idiot, so having something there which acts as like a mini health pack just by shooting an enemy is pretty much a lifesaver. And being able to help your team as well by using this is awesome. I've been waiting for this episode a long, long time so I can actually use this weapon and show it off to you guys. And every time I'm making a Scouts Patch weapon video that isn't the Mad Milk, I feel lost without it. It's, it's bad that I need it that badly, but it's really nice. 
Anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure you leave a like on the video. And then while you're scrolling down to leave a like, you may as well subscribe to the channel anyway. Two clicks, two seconds, probably less than that. Depends how quick you can move your mouse. Or if you're watching on a phone, how quickly you can tap things. Also, make sure you use TF2.trading to go and make any single trade you're thinking about making because they're probably the best place to do it. And they've helped me out a lot with my pub point competitions. So yeah, definitely go and support that website as well. So with that, I think I've said pretty much everything I need to say. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and I did hope you enjoy it and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.